My name is Ann Jewett. I live in San Francisco, California. In 2003, I was diagnosed with early stage one breast cancer. The subtype was invasive ductal carcinoma. I did everything my medical team advised, which ultimately became a bilateral mastectomy. And so I really thought at the end of all of that, that breast cancer was in my rear view mirror forever. And 11 years later, was truly blindsided to find out that it was back. And it was back in my lungs and my mediastinum. So I did a tremendous amount of research to try and understand the science of cancer and how it is that cancer travels throughout the human body. And I also studied in depth my specific pathology results. Knowledge became very empowering for me. And so rather than just being a listener every time I met with my medical team and specifically my oncologist, I became a full participant with a whole bunch of questions of my own. And I continue to do that each and every time I do meet with my medical team. I've had several setbacks along the way, several progressions of disease, several very unexpected uh, curveballs, but that is the nature of cancer. And the only thing that I feel like I have real control over is how I choose to proceed every day going forward. I can't change what is. I can't change my pathology and I can't change uh, the reality of metastatic breast cancer. But what I can tr control every day is how I decide I'm going to move forward in my life. And so I have continued to work throughout all of this time. I've been fortunate to have had the physical ability to do that. And I have, I'm a wife, I'm a mom, I'm a Grammy. I continue to volunteer for organizations that are important to me with outside interests and hobbies. And I volunteer for an organization like SHARE that offers national support to men and women around the country with metastatic breast cancer. So I am here all year. I know NBC Alliance is here all year. And if I can leave you with one word of encouragement, it would be to find ways for you to fulfill your own joy in life life and not let cancer define who you are because that is not what life is about.